Welcome to 429 Abbeydale Way. It's beautiful, four bedroom, two and a half bath home, with a two car garage, hardwood floors and stainless steel appliances inside, and a large master suite. It's located in the Sandy Springs neighborhood in Lake Carolina in Blythewood, convenient to I-20, I-77, and Northeast Columbia. So we're here in the front, you can see there's a two car garage. You have a nice size front yard here, and then a covered front entry as well. You have side lights around the front door. So as we enter, you'll notice the hardwood flooring, real hardwoods in the foyer. Nice wainscoting in here as well. Chair, excuse me, in uh, crown molding. Then you have a glass door leading you to the formal living room. French glass doors there to the formal dining room, large window or several of them at the front. High ceilings in here as well. And again, you notice the wainscoting and the crown molding. So this is the formal dining room, large window on the side of it. And then it leads right into the kitchen. So you have a nice open floor plan area in here. So you have the kitchen with towel, ceramic towel flooring. You have an eat and dining area here. There's a center island. You have solid surface countertops. There's a French door refrigerator, light wood cabinets, as well as an above the range microwave, five burner, smooth top electric stove and dishwasher. All of those stainless steel. And the sink there underneath the window overlooking the backyard. You have a linen closet, or excuse me, a pantry here in the kitchen as well. So all that's open to the living room, but here on the left you have a sunroom or sort of a sitting area off of the dining area in the kitchen. And it also has access to the backyard with an oversized patio, basically double the size of normal. Backyard is not fully fenced. Um, we are open to the neighbor on that side. Uh, it does back up to some common area or street fencing on the back. And then there's some fencing to your left, excuse me, to your right from the other neighbor if you're facing the backyard. So back inside, large family room. You have large windows in here for lots of natural light, ceiling fan. You have some built-in shelving and benches flanking the fireplace there. The fireplace is a gas log. And then you have a place where you can mount a TV above and there's some hardwired uh, HDMI cables and other things in there as well to connect that. Also the kitchen has recessed lighting. Half bathroom or powder room off the Downstairs, tile floors in here as well, single vanity. Then you have a closet here, nice storage closet, or a, actually a coat closet, which is extra space underneath the stairs. And on this side you have your laundry room, full size washer and dryer connections, there's a shelf above, there's a door that closes that off in the hall, and then you have your access to the garage, water heater and electrical well. box are in here has other controls for uh, any, um, any sprinkler system as well. I do have a vehicle parked in here so you can see kind of the size. It's a compact or small SUV. So back in the foyer, and I'm not sure if you noticed, but foyer is two stories here. So as we go upstairs, we'll take a look at the second level. Carpeted from here on out, except for the bathrooms where you have the same tiles in the kitchens and bathrooms downstairs. Uh, off the landing here you have built-in desk and some storage there. Master suite is on the left side here. You have French doors opening up into it. You have a tray ceiling, ceiling fan, lots of windows for natural light, good sized room, very large. And then you have a huge walk-in closet shelving on three walls and then French doors into the master bathroom as well tile flooring in here also you have a large linen closet there that closes behind these two doors double sinks and the lighting there a couple windows you have a separate shower as well as a garden tub frosted glass window and then you have private water closet or commode here there's a window and a door that closes that off it's a very nice master suite and then 
To finish off the upstairs, there are three additional bedrooms. We'll go through those pretty quickly. I believe all do have ceiling fans except for the last one. Here's one of three here. This one faces the sort of back and side of the house. Standard size closet are actually a little bit larger than standard. You do have doors that open instead of sliding, uh, sliding doors of bifold. Same thing in here as well in the third bedroom. This one's on the side. And again, it's pretty similar closet setup. And then you have your second full bathroom here, single vanity with a larger, larger countertop. Linen closet there in the corner. And then you have a shower and tub on the opposite end. And then your fourth and final bedroom. And actually this one does have a ceiling fan also, so I was incorrect there. All four bedrooms do have ceiling fans. This one is front facing with two windows and has a small walk-in closet with a window as well. So that completes our tour of this home. Again, the address is 429 Abbey Dale Way in Blythewood. You can find out more information by visiting our website at turnerproperties.com or by giving us a call at 803-407-8522.